Oh, hey, that's weird. We're sitting down in the under. Well, hey, guys, the Big Dudes 12 here. Coming at you with the real episode 23 of Pokemon Coliseum. Sorry about that. I don't know how I got that mixed up. Yesterday's episode was 22. Today's episode is 23. This is the real episode of 23. In this episode, we are now able to take part in the Underground Coliseum. Hello, welcome to the Under Coliseum. Would you like to enter a knockout challenge? Enter. You'll enter? Wonderful. Will you be entering with the Pokemon in your party now? Yes. I hope you give it your best and go for gold. Hopefully this is more... How do I say this? Oh yeah, more of a challenge than Phoenix Coliseum was, because that was disappointing. Under Coliseum, Battle 1. I love this Coliseum because it looks kind of like a busy, rusty pit inside of a very, very busy city. A more busy city than the Under. I've been hearing that kids call you the, their hero. Well, I'm taking you down, hero. Alright, Quorum. Let's see what level his Pokemon are. Whoa, 55? <laughs> Whoa. I was not expecting that high of a level. Jeez. Okay then. Let's let's try to win. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try to win. So far, so good. I have the advantage as Espeon is a lot faster than these two are. No, that's not good. Super effective hit three times. Uh, I was going to say, that's really, really not good. Hey, but that's super effective, and you're out. Dang, we can take out level 55 Pokemon. I, well, nah, it's a Quillafish and Clamp Pearl. It's the first evolutions in each of those, uh... Well, Quillfish doesn't evolve. Clan Pearl evolves into either Hunt Hunt Tail, and I forget what the other one is called. It's more of a mermaid-like Pokemon. I don't know why I keep blanking on the name, but I'm happy to know that we're able to take out like higher-level Pokemon with the two current Pokemon that I have. And Clamport, you're out. I love how Clamport's faint animation, like the shell is just trying to open more and more, but can't. This should be easy because Lombre is a water type Pokemon, so Thunderbolt should easily take him out. Oh, nice, and he's confused as well. But let's end this right here, Ampharos. Oh, no! No, I. He's. Lombre is grass! Type, isn't he? Hang on, I'm gonna search him up. Search it up. What type he is? Cause that that kind of blows my mind a little bit. It's also good to know, cause in future reference. Yeah, type is water and grass. Well, that's stupid. So that's why it wasn't super effective, because it's both water and grass. Grass is canceling out electric-type moves being super effective. You've proved you're a hero. Don't you forget about me. Battle 2. So you beat Venus, big deal. Don't be too pleased with yourself. Ryder Hazel would like to battle. Hazel? Hez, his, his, Hazel? Ryder Hazel sent out Vigoroth. Vigoroth, excuse me. Whoa, and Cedra. Cedra is a water type Pokemon, and Vigoroth is normal type. Vigoroth is the evolution to Slackoth, and then Cedra is the evolution to Horsey. So. Uh, Cedra should be easy to take out. Ampharos can just take take her out. And then I guess we can both try to work on Vigoroth a little bit, but it shouldn't be that difficult. No, not at all, because I, I... My personal opinion, the Slackoth family easily gets confused, which I've noticed. And I don't know why they keep attacking Ampharos with water-type moves. It's not going to work. 
because water does not best electric. Electric bests water. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm I'm fine. I don't need it. And Celio, level 55 is ice and water, I believe. Oh, please hit itself. Nope. Vigoroth has a lot of speed. I don't know where it goes when sla when he evolves to slacking though. Whoa. Okay, I was meant to. I thought I hit Espeon with. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I guess, I guess we're both went after Celo this round. I thought I had Espeon attack Vigor. Uh. Uh, whatever his name is, Vigoroth. I guess not, though. Finally, yes, Confusion is working for us. Nice one, Espeon. Almost took him out. Vigoroth is just that weird... It, like, Vigoroth, in my opinion, is that weird uh, mid-evolution form where he kind of looks strange in my opinion i mean i know people can say war turtle is one of them like people usually compare uh mid evolutions between like three evolution line pokemon to like you know them growing up or whatever okay you've convinced me but i'm not the last in line vigoroth is one of those weird looking ones in my opinion same with war turtle i mean still awesome pokemon don't get me wrong but a little kind of looking a little weird a semi-finals Shadow Pokemon? That's got nothing to do with me. Battle. Body Bitter Ta Man. Ta Man. And I don't know. I try to like pronounce them to see if I'm pronouncing them right, but in the long run, I'm like, who cares? Like, really, who cares? Because either way, they're weird names I would never ever see ever again. Gosh, this is strange. Strange names. Let me use Toxic on Curlia, and then Ampharos, do your thing with uh, Azure Mural. Since I can't, I don't know, I don't think Fusion against Curlia would be that really effective. I usually need a Dark-type Pokemon, or even Ghost-type Pokemon that knows to like, move Bite, Crunch, or something like that. And I know Ombreon did, but I'm not using him, so oh well. But you know what? Uh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna have to use some attack on Curlia. So I might as well. Okay, if it can if it can hit, I'd rather do some damage rather than none. But if it's not gonna hit, then there's no reason to even try. So yeah. This is like the water wave right now, and I'm selected a pretty good team. Here, Espeon and Ampharos is pretty decent, and then Quagsire is on standby. Yeah, like I said, I try to keep going for Curlia, but double team, I just don't. I I think double team in this game gets the evasiveness stat way too high. I'm probably the only one who feels that way, but I love Pelipper's uh attack or uh getting hit animation he just covers his eyes and be like nope nope make the pain go away i'm not gonna feel it i'm not gonna see it i'm not doing anything and then noctowl should be easy because electric is super as um uh, excuse me flying is super offensive against electric so so uh, espion keep trying to attack curlia Dude, again, was that the fourth time in a row? Yeah, Ampharos is landing, landing all of his attacks, but Espeon can't even land a simple 
a Psy Wave? Or, or excuse me, Psy Beam against Curlia? I don't get that at all. Psy Wave, I don't know what I was thinking, jeez. That's not even, even a moving Pokemon. Oh my gosh, yeah, just let Poison kill our faint Curlia. Don't even attack it, Espeon. Oh, dude, come on, Infros. Don't do not do this now. I was going to say, hang in there, Infros. You've endured more of their, worse of their attacks. Yeah, let's just focus on Noctowl. There we go. Finally, Espeon. boy. Ooh. Don't attack Ampharos. Okay. That did quite a, a good number on Espeon too, though. Yes! Nice! Quagsar is getting really good experience points from this. Ooh, no! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, by one! By one! Good job, Espeon. You actually took down Curlia without even attacking it, honestly. Quagsar is, like, leveling up real nicely now. Aw, uh, actually, I wish I had Shadow Pokemon of my own. Well, you're never gonna get them anymore now. The final battle. Honestly... Walking into this, I don't think I was going to win, but then I realized it's the first ex exhibition. And yeah, if Phoenix Coliseum was anything like that. Mistr Mistress Venus! Street Performer Crib would like to battle. Then I knew this exhibi exhibition round was going to be super, super easy. Street Performer Crib was now Gorbis. This is the other evolution to. Um, uh, Clan Pearl. There we go. Man, I'm missing on names. And whoa, this took a big difficulty spike. Now we're just going to see evolution forms. Yeah, I don't like this one whatsoever. Just use super effective moves against them. Match with their type. So far, Vileplume is grass and poison, so it'd be easy for Espeon to take out. And Gorbis, I believe, is just water type. Come on, attack Infros. Ah. Don't fall for it. They're confused, right? No, don't do the stupid thing that Venus did. Don't try to attract our Pokemon throughout the whole battle. They really don't like Infros. My gosh. If I take out Vireplume, the attract should be over with Infros. So Infros should have a higher chance to attack now. Nope. Nope, don't you dare, Vire Plume just faint. Whoa, 1104 for Quagsire, nice. Oh my gosh, Kecleon's a normal type, but Kecleon is just... It, to me, I don't understand its ability, or whatever, and what? I was gonna say, water, it should not have taken out that much damage against Ampharos. Kecleon to me is just a strange Pokemon. Never understood the hype for it. Never understood why it's so special. I think Kecleon take like for example, Espeon here is gonna going to attack Kecleon Psychic. So I think Kecleon kind of adapts to Psychic type moves. Yep, that was exactly right. But yet, yet again, I can use that to my advantage. If I had a Dark or Ghost type Pokemon, I can use a super effective move. Usually for psychic type and use it on Kecleon. And Sharpedo. Sharpedo, I believe, is water and dark type. So electric should be super effective on him. But I don't know. Ampharos might be fine. Yep, Ampharos is gone. Ugh, thanks, buddy. Rest easy now. I love how his tail like sticks up and then falls down. Ooh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's not use Mistravius, because I bet you. Sharpedo knows crunch or bite and it would take Mistravious out like that. I need a purify hit on top, by the way. Oh, 
But yet again, I could have used Miss Javis to take out Kecleon. Ah, no, that's fine. Let me use Toxic on Kecleon, and let me use Triple Kick on Sharpedo. I was gonna say, whoever he's. Oh no, he's attacking Espeon. Hane in there. Hane in. Yes, thank you. Because I was thinking, I was like, wait, who's he using that on? Oh yeah, Espeon, who's Psychic. It's like, jeez. Nice. Alright, now triple kick him. Not bad, not bad. Nice! Okay, that one's better. Nice! Super effective! Oh, nice! I did not know that. Whoa! Hit in there, Espeon. There we go. Let me heal Espeon if I can. Lemonade, 80, that should be fine. Yeah, let me use Triple Kick on Sharpedo. I know I probably wasted an item, but no, I didn't. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, knock him out. Get him out of here. Sharpedo just sinks to the bottom when he faints. Yeah, I, I wasted an item, but it's good now that I can bring out a Pokemon that's, you know, full health and everything like that. I'm going to use Mistravious because Shadow Ball should super effect against Psychic. Since Shadow Ball is Ghost type. Nice. There we go. So either way, um, oh yeah, and each attack, it changes. Oh, okay, it doesn't affect Kecleon, but he should be fainting due to poison. Yep, there we go. Nice, level 38. Whew, okay, that wasn't that bad of a first exhibition. I failed Mistress Venus. You sure did, my gosh. I was not expecting level 55, I was expecting like 45. I, at first I was expecting level 40, then I was thinking, no, it has to be 45. Congratulations, you're a champion. You battle fabulously. Please accept your cash prize of... Oh, I will take that. And as a victory prize, please also accept this TM37. We'll be looking forward to your next entry. Let's see what that is. TM37 Sandstorm. Okay. So, one last thing before I end this video. I kind of want to show you guys um, what the U-Disc does. Where we can go. With that item. So let me run down over here, put the U disc in. All systems set for travel in the upward direction. Board now, please. So, yeah, we're gonna go up with that U disc. <clears throat> and I was like really, really surprised because it's like. It's like, wait a minute, where is it taking us? There's a slot up here where, th where the crane was at. So, we open it. We get one time flute. You know, the item that Vander gave us when we took out Dakim. It pretty much purifies any Pokemon instantly. I think we're going to use that on Suicune. I think that I think would be a great item to use it on. So... Anyway, in the next, we'll do that in the next episode. Until then, if you guys like this episode, give it, make sure you give it a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in episode 24 of Pokemon Coliseum. See you guys later.